Hi folks, Dave with DBS Tech Talk and today we're going to talk about Fostex, specifically Fostex T50 mods. So we have the Alpha Blue, we have the Vibro Labs Curly Maple, we have the Mod House Argon, We have the Mayflower mod. And we have the ZMF Classic. Start. So Fossil XT50s are very easily modded. Uh, you can have all sorts of variations by changing out straps. Uh, add in different cabling. You can do balanced or unbalanced. You can uh, change out the the pads themselves to change the tone and uh, sound signatures and so they are very unique to headphones to be able to be modded let's go over very quickly what pads are on each one of these mods starting with the alpha blue we have the mr. speakers alpha pad and a Cascadia audio suspension strap. The Vibro Labs have Brainwaves XL micro suede on, and then they have the Cascadia audio suspension strap. The Argons have the protein pad on. And they also have the Alcantara suspension strap. The Mayflowers have Mr. Speaker's Ether C pads on and a ZMF pilot pad. And then the ZMF Classic has the leathers and a big huge thick suspension strap of all of these which ones do i find to be the most comfortable the least mo the least uncomfortable is the zmf classic and it has nothing to do with the pads because the pads are amazing it's the suspension strap is just way too stiff thick and big now it's built nice but it's thicker than the belt that I used to hold my pants up and it's stiffer than that belt and it's just it's not comfortable um, at all it puts a really rough spot on the top of your head next up would be the Mayflower um, not because of the pads again the ether C pads are very nice it's mainly because this is a stock uh, T50 if you don't have the pilot pad on you're getting that really skinny headband it's just uncomfortable but the pilot pad does definitely help and it's an improvement over the zmf classic for sure next up is a toss-up uh, all three of these i would say are about equal in um, comfort the argons have that alcantara strap that is just super soft and uh, flexible and the big huge protein pads are just insanely good Next up is the Vibro Lab. Again, you get a Cascadia strap that's just soft. These just sit on your head. They're like big, huge pillows with those micro suede's on. And then the Alpha Blue with the big, huge Alpha pad and that Cascadia strap is just glorious on the head. So I would rank them um, in that order as far as comfort. And then these three are tied. How do they sound? Well, they all sound completely different. Um, we'll go from brightest to darkest, and then we'll go to what one is my preferred sound. So the brightest of the bunch is going to be the Mayflower. It just has a leaner sound, a brighter, more aggressive treble, and uh, has very good detail retrieval and um, really good imaging in the sound stage. The Mayflower 
Next one in brightness is actually going to be the Alpha Blue. Uh, it has a not as bright as the Mayflower, but it is a little bit on the brighter side. Uh, brings in better detail resolution than the Mayflower. It's better controlled and uh, sounds more natural and closer to neutral. But the bass is um, very nice and pleasant, very well detailed, and it has better uh, mids than the Mayflower. Next up would actually be the ZMF Classic. They have a um, aggressiveness in the upper mids and lower treble region and they can be a little bit on the shouty side um, but they are slightly uh, darker in the mids and in the bass than the alpha or the mayflower the vibro labs are more balanced and even across the board and uh, have a very laid-back tone to them and then the argons are more on the darker warmer side and and uh, very much rolled off laid-back treble which ones do i prefer well it depends on the setting that i'm using them in the mayflower is more for the business side of things critical listening if i want to hear details and uh, have a brighter signature so they are better for darker sounding music the zmf classic actually have really good mids that are nice and forward full and it works very well with vocal prominent music or with acoustic music uh, the ZMF really brings those out and shows the natural uh, tones and timbre the vibro labs have a very well balanced and chill um, sound go with pretty much about any genre except for super dark music and they are a can that I want to just sit back, enjoy, close my eyes, and relax. And so these would be my choice. The Argon is the fun one. Um, big bass, laid back, but nice and full mids, and huge sound stage, and excellent staging uh, and layering and depth and these are for for gaming for sure and for watching movies and um, if you want to just rock out uh, the argon is your choice they do bring in enough details and and have clarity that you're not going to um, not enjoy them when listening to music but they're not really meant for critical listening the alpha blue is my choice for overall favorite it just has a signature that plays with all genres um, well controlled treble and extremely clean mids with enough bass to show the details and give me the thump and the kick but not to overpower and i just find that the Alpha Blue is my choice for favorite mod on the table. So there you are folks, the T50s of DBS Tech Talk. And my preferences for use of them. Hopefully this clarifies things a little bit. Um, let me know in the comments down below whether or not you have heard these and if you agree and if you would rearrange the preference. Be curious to see uh, what all you think. All five I recommend, all five I enjoy, but as it is with anything that you have multiples of, you always do have a favorite and mine is the alpha blue this has been dave with dbs tech talk thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next 
video. Speaking of next video, somewhere on the screen is going to be a subscription link and notification bell. If you haven't already, please check those off. And if you would like to ask a question, check out the links down below. If you want to know some playlists that I use or you just are interested in various information about the channel, check out the links down below. Thanks.